little bit of a stretch to suggest that peptides are just B the whole time. Okay. Yeah, Ryan, I do think it's a little bit of a stretch. And this is what we call the Sphinx Squat. Head cranked up while you're trying to get a squat. I thought this guy was a record power lifter. What's going on here? I mean, what the hell is going on? Or for trips, going on, on trips or whatever, daytime driving, nighttime driving. And There's a lot of red. This is a sea of red. He's only scoring 20% of the full spectrum board. But since I've just been going from one machine to the next, I hardly, I only do machines essentially now. I only do machines. I only do machines. In today's lineup, Greg Doucette, full channel audit. Remember, we're lifting the blinders off. It's not what he's teaching you. It's what you're missing from staying stuck on this channel. It's entertainment tonight around here. He's the king of regurgitation. You know, he rips other people's videos, puts his face on top of it, calls it a new video, repeat, repeat, repeat. Jeff has listed out 20 different exercises. I'm gonna be going over these exercises and saying which are the best, which are the- First patch we give is the regurgitator because he's just taking other people's videos, putting his voice on top, face on top, and calling them his own. Second batch we give him, the sub pusher, because every other video of his is just a commercial shoving his own product in your face. You don't think that Turk Builder or Ecti Builder can help you to build muscle? Wait till you see the research. I can't wait for how well this video is going to age. Third badge, not Natty. I don't have to say it. He says it himself. A thousand other people are saying it as well. You get deeper voice. Maybe if you're Greg Duchesne, that comes later. <laughs> so Greg, just my dancer. Falls into that same sub pusher formula. Buy my supplements, look like me, even though it's impossible to look like him. Now the whole fitness, fitness industry, which is basically a bunch of guys and girls who inject steroids behind the scenes, lie about it or half truth it to market protein powder, Actren X programs, supplements, etc., peptides, all right? and they get their results from taking anabolic and androgenic steroids. And you can tell people this till you're black and blue in the face, but people just don't want to believe the truth. He didn't know. Oh God! Oh God! Last badge is OG and educator. Yes, I'm not around just to rip on channels all the time. If there's something good to say, we'll say it. He's old, he's been around forever, he's highly experienced, and he's got a lot of education. So behind that high voice, Yay, I said it! And all the clickbait titles of the videos, there is some high value information in there if you just stick around to find it. No, I only judge for what, 20 years, but now I'm not allowed to be judged because I actually have an opinion, and I would say a good one. We'll get to those badges in a bit. Next up is the Spectrum of Fitness chart. Anything you see in green is what this channel shows the viewers that 2.9 million followers are watching. You're funneled all the way into what is green and not seeing anything of the red. So up on screen, you're seeing Doucette's channel. We know he's been bodybuilding forever. There's a lot of red. This is a sea of red. He's only scoring 20% of the full spectrum board. And believe it or not, there's other channels like Jeff Nippert. Science-based advice from me, a science-based lifter. A science-based lifter. A science-based lifter. That are even worse because of the endurance stuff Doucette's been doing on his bike lately that you can actually see on his channel. There might be stuff privately that we're not seeing, but this is all about what is he portraying to the audience following him. Most of these channels I'm subscribed to and I've watched hundreds of hours of them, so I've attributed to their ad revenue, all is good, but that lets me see a crap load of their content to know that I'm pretty confident these are accurate numbers. These charts are flexible, I'm willing to update, you can prove me wrong in the comments. With Doucette's chart and almost all of YouTube Fitness, you see that bodybuilding square 100% full. He's got powerlifting carryover from his past and we know it spills into strength and he's got some endurance from all the cycling that he's doing and speaks of. The bodybuilding square is the all show, no go, show muscle style of training. Chase the pump, high volume, low cardio capacity, low athletic output. If you want to be a full spectrum athlete, you need to have green touching all of these elements, not just loaded up into one square. Why be a huge ogre caveman with no cardio when you could be a trained assassin at 19 elements of fitness and athleticism? The next chart I call the exercise vibe chart. It's the style of training that you see portrayed through the lens to those millions of followers. On the far left, you see the young, dumb, full of self-taught, you're 20 years old, world's your oyster, you wanna just lift through the roof. Take the trend, twins. Young, dumb, full of lifting beyond capacity, 
whatever brother Mikey just tore his peck right off his bone. You said saw it coming, I saw it coming. It's the easy 20 year old equation. Trust me, eventually every one of you is gonna be on the far right chasing pain free movement, longevity, proper tempo, et cetera, et cetera. Because do sets in the bodybuilding category, you see a lot of the good style reps and tempo come through on this chart. Because Doucette lives in the bodybuilding world, that machine junkie square is 100%. But since I've just been going from one machine to the next, I hardly, I only do machines essentially now. I, I hardly, I only do machines essentially now. Machines, 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 machines. Occasionally dumbbells, maybe some barbells, but any other elements of fitness training, zilch, you won't see it. Algorithm Square lit up a little bit because he's chasing those clickbait views. So he'll talk about what's going on in the world, in the realm, uh, and dabble with it. Nutrition, yes, he's amazing in nutrition. He knows his stuff. When he's pushing and peddling supplements as well, he will delve into some pretty good nutrition info. The Tempo Square is lit up. One of my favorites, not my tempo. Will Tennyson, where are you at? Not my tempo. The tempo, so four seconds down, one second up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Rushing or dragging? Rushing. So you do know the difference. And he gets a science-based square lit up too. Max, he's gonna put me through a science-based workout. Science-based workout. Partly because of his own education experience, he's just seen it all, done it all. He knows what's going on, he knows what works, what doesn't, so science-based gets a tick. Yeah. The science, I'm gonna grab all the science I can. To grab all the science I can. And that's what you're seeing for full spectrum fitness, or lack thereof, on this channel. Greens are lit reds are not talked about on the channel. So what are you missing by sticking to this channel and not going elsewhere? Back to the badges, the regurgitator. He has made three original uploads in the last 250 uploads. The regurgitator is the old man listening to the police scanner, waiting for any new hot story to come out. Then they jump on it, take it and do their own mix over it. Get out of here! Hey! Get out of here! I'm not fucking... How do they get here so fucking quick? They pay police for the information and they pay well. If you just watch the original video they talk about, you get all the same information happening. Imagine what YouTube would be if fitness creators weren't allowed using and remixing other people's content and actually had to just make their own for their channel. Ironically, one of the best videos I've seen of Greg Doucette's lately was him just mic'd up in a gym doing a workout. The amount of great information that comes across in the video is awesome. Because my personal opinion is, five is on the very heavy side of things and you're more likely to get injured but it's one of the lowest viewed videos on his channel in the last 200 uploads. So what you see here is a successful channel gets baited into the algorithm and gets forced to do the style they're doing. So they're not entirely to blame. They have to keep going the way they're going to get the views and clicks. I, I'm sorry. You are very scared. Make him walk the plank. <laughs> they try to go true, try to go off script. The views go down and they're not getting the views they want. In the future, I'm gonna be auditing Athlete Nexus channel. That's the largest fitness channel on YouTube. And he's stuck in the same realm. It's shirtless, six pack upper body videos because he's always wearing pants, not confident in his legs. Well, look at Athlete Nex. Look at Athlete Nex is a great example. Athlete Nex, swole upper body. And you look at his lower body and you're like, damn, the dude missed leg day for the last two decades. But he doesn't, he trains legs. But the steroids, you can take all the steroids you want, your legs won't grow that much. And he knows what gets the clicks, it's the six pack thumbnail. So he's only done seven lower body uploads in the last 150 videos. The supplement pusher badge sells that false narrative. Here I am, juice to the gills, but buy my pre-workouts and multivitamins and one day you won't, won't look like me. Geo2 Max, Turk Builder, money back guarantee. But spend money and be a loyal follower and subscriber. And they're trying to chase his physique. The, the guy, that girl got their physique from anabolic steroids. And people go, no, that's so wrong. No, 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 no. You tell me, you tell me that's not true. That's not true. So I can get rich. Remember, they are laughing at us. Guilty as charged. <laughs> All your favorite influencers are using them. Okay, so it's not the protein. You'd be seeing in the mainstream media. How much protein for maximum muscle? What's the best? How many reps? Is it eight reps or 10 reps or 12 reps? What's the best hypertrophy protocols? Blah, blah, blah. You know, it's the anabolics that these people are taking. The Not Natty and Short King badge seem to follow each other around pretty often. The Not Natty, we do not want to be like them. We know they cut corners, they cheat, they probably were insecure when they were younger and picked on. If you watch my shorts, you'll see the 10 stages of a steroid user, how it always starts with a little bit of insecurity, wanting to cut corners and get results faster. We don't need that. You don't want to suffer the side effects.
work hard and long, natural your whole life, and everything will be okay. And Greg Duchesne, look at Greg Duchesne as a natty, and look at him as a, a fake natty, you know? And look at him now, just on TRT, <laughs> trend replacement therapy. The short kings will say anyone under 5'10". You're gonna have shorter lever lengths, bigger muscle bellies, appear bigger on camera, and you'll be able to move more weight for shorter ranges of motion. I'm 6'4", 235 pounds, and I'm in the tall category. My levers are longer, muscle bellies lengthened out. We don't appear as big on camera. And if I held a 10 pound dumbbell out stretched with my long arm, it's gonna create more force in the joint than a shorter arm holding the same weight. So it's in your best benefit to idolize and follow people that are your same body type and not think you might look uh, like a short king when you're over six foot and they're five, eight, five, nine. Almost wrapping the video up, we got the OG and Educator badges. He's 49, he's been around for a long time, and at this point, he doesn't need to perform or impress anybody. We're gonna be sending him out to pasture into his older age. He's gonna be more focused on that spectrum chart of getting over to the pain-free longevity and movement side. I always pause at the bottom because I've seen so many guys tear their pecs, and I'm like, I gotta stop ego lifting because every now and then I do the touch and go bounce set and I feel a little bit of a twinge. It's like I don't want to be one of those guys, so I kind of left my ego at the gore and I. Versus the 1RMs lifting beyond capacity, risk of injury. Like I said, anyone in their 20s now, you'll laugh at me, but you will all be over on the longevity side eventually. So, yes, do set the educator. There is some good value when he's saying it. I'll normally spend way more time on the channel covering form, movement prowess, and no reps if I can find them. Yo. But because we know bodybuilding is the machine junkie category, you're just guided by the machine all the time. There's not too much to talk about. And Doucette's only uploaded three original videos in the last 250. So of the one video I caught him working out, he actually was saying because of his tricep surgery recoveries, his one arm's weaker. So I usually do machines that way I can kind of push harder on this side and the machine goes up together. When I do like one arm at a time, it's, it's a lot harder. When in reality, you want to be using two separate dumbbells so that weaker arm has to force itself to catch up over time. Like any beginner, start with dumbbells, don't start with machines, and any weak imbalance will catch up pretty quick by forcing the one side to use the same amount of weight as the other. When I'm doing these channel audits, the main goal is to take the blinders off those millions of subscribers that might not realize they're stuck into one avenue of fitness when there's plenty more aspects to full spectrum athletics. I always see the Predator poster. I'm assembling a dream team. I want multifaceted, multi-skilled, multi-sport athletes that make up a dream team, not just a one-dimensional oof that's good at one thing, but nothing else. When it comes to Doucette's channel, it's entertainment tonight, entertainment weekly, regurgitating, regurgitating over and over, and bodybuilding. So know that this will be an ongoing series of fitness truths. What's in the fucking box? No! No! You tell me, you tell me that's not true. That's not true. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh! and fitness education. 800,000 and 2.4 million subscribers on YouTube and they're using the skier handles backwards and nobody around them has corrected them to turn the handles around. I hope you learned something from this video that you did before. Let me know in the comments what you think and write down anyone you think I could do a channel audit on next. See you later. The sub pusher badge is just as. Uh,